Let's see how we can build a dynamic suggested list input box using our data list element of HTML5. Dynamic which means we would be fetching these suggested list from our database. I'll take a simple input field of type text. Also take the list attribute and name it as my companies. We will be fetching company names to and and suggesting the company names here. The ID must match the list name and this option value, this value will be filled dynamically using jQuery. So I'll just remove this out using my script script will be using our jQuery skills to fill the suggested list option values. Since it is a jQuery programming, we need to include jQuery library before including myscript.js. I'll quickly download jQuery library from jQuery.com. We need to download the minimized that is compressed compressed production ready jQuery library file. I'll name it jQuery.js and store it inside my HTML5 folder where my index.html page resides. So let me start. Once our document that is index.html has been loaded, that is when it is ready, we will call an anonymous function. Now, for every key press event or key up event, first I'll need to select the input field I'll give it an ID and call it as suggest now I'll select it it's an ID so start with pound symbol for I'll take key up event I'll call an anonymous function here I'll take the get method of jQuery which takes basically three parameters first one being the file name I'll, I'll just create the file that is the PHP file which processes which connects to our database and processes the data and outputs it I'll name this as suggest.php so I'll write down the PHP file name here. The second field is the input we need to pass to suggest.php and the third parameter is an anonymous function which gets the data that is the final result from suggest.php. Using this data we will will process and fill the program here within this block. Now I already created a database called search I'll quickly go ahead and import a file wherein I have already listed some company names with ID. So you can download this file in the link given below this YouTube video in the description section. So table 1 is the table name, search is the database name. So I'll go and quickly connect this suggest.php file to my newly created database mysql i underscore connect is the sql method to connect to the database first parameter is the local host because it's hosted on my machine and the username is root i don't have any password so leave it blank the database name is search now I could test if the connection was successful or not. 
uh, I'll leave that to you. Now I'll go ahead and get what the user has typed in in the input field. To get the user's input, I need to name that input field. So I need to get name it. I'll call it company. So just copy it and paste it over here. Get the name enter some keyword input by the user and store it inside a variable called company. Now go ahead and write a simple query to fetch the data from the database. Select name. We have two fields here ID and name. I just want the name here. So select name from table name is table one where name like like the user's input that is whatever is present inside dollar company and followed by anything that is denoted by percentage symbol and order by name you could even limit the output by using limit keyword now execute it select the database and call the query method and pass our SQL statement and if this fail this didn't return anything or else if it is if the process just failed echo what's the error there by using mysql i underscore error standard method of mysql or sorry php else if it if everything is successful loop through the result object and format it the way you want it also note that i'm not using curly braces here as we are writing only single statements statements inside if and else now echo in the format which we need it that is option space value open single quote concatenate with the result set using row pointing to its name now close single quote close the angular bracket and done now this result will be output and will be filled here using myscript.js now let's pass some value whatever the user types in here we get it and pass it to this query so by using its name colon whatever has been typed in to that input field I'll get it by its ID dot its value it's a method jQuery method since we already have used this I can simply point to it with this keyword so pass this object to suggest.php which will be stored here used in the query and the output is well formatted to suit our needs that is inside options tag and all this result will be returned here and stored inside the variable called data and we will make use of this data and process it to display it inside index.html file now I'll empty out anything present inside data list and then using dot HTML that is inner HTML property I'll simply output the results present inside the data variable that's it so let's have a look at it in our browser I'll type a which should list all the company names starting from a so let's have a look at our database here so we have so many names here I think I entered 55 company names let me navigate yeah 55 well we have Nvidia here let's have a look in the suggested fields here yeah it's coming now whatever is in with letter I 
So for every key up event, our jQuery program is triggered and it passes the value typed in by the user and passes it to suggest.php file and its result is well formatted and written back to our third parameter of get method of jQuery and is passed on to our HTML file to data lists option field. So this is how we build dynamic auto suggestion input field using HTML5, jQuery, PHP and MySQL. Please share this video with your friends on Facebook, Google+, LinkedIn, Twitter, StumbleUpon, etc. Stay subscribed to technotip.com and, and to our YouTube channel and please don't forget to like this video on YouTube.